good evening. How are we, all right? Yeah. Don't worry, it won't be long. Um, now, I know what you're thinking. He wasn't in dinner, ladies. Um, I know you're right, I wasn't. And I do have a little feeling of having won a competition being here tonight. Um, but I did meet Victoria a few times. Um, I never got to work with her, sadly. But I met her. Uh, I auditioned for her once, actually, which uh, went very badly, as you can imagine. It was all very much the wrong way around. Her sat there listening to me sing. Uh, so, yeah, cock that right up. Um, but, uh, but eventually, she did get to see me in a show that I was doing um, next door to her house. It was in a theatre. <laughs> I wasn't stuck by the bins doing the wrong <laughs> um, But, um, yeah, she brought me a drink afterwards. She was always very gracious. Um, and so it was lovely, even though I never got to work with her, that uh, I, don't, I got to meet her a little bit. And this, being here tonight, is very much the next best thing, I must tell you. Uh, so where to begin? They've asked me to sing sort of my favourites. Uh, so I'm going to start with the first song I think I ever heard her sing, which was in the Evening With she did for ITV. Um, and uh, it came out in 1998, so I was nine, so I can't possibly have know what the heck it was all about, but I just knew it was very, very fun. So, here we go. It's over. We've missed the bus. Nice idea, but not for us. We didn't click, let's make it quick and say goodbye. Don't hold my hand and don't demand a reason why. Your loving looks, no fond regards. Tonight, as always, Big muscles, you were thin and lanky. I like nice manners, you were far too cranky. You blew your nose and then looked in your head. <laughs> the day I met you was a real heart wrencher. I wanted love to be a big adventure. Then saw the spinach on your bottom denture. It would never have worked. I wanted champagne and oysters. That's the way I am. You gave me Vimto, tinned carrots, and spam. Rapport's a thing you just can't manufacture. You had your pinup girl, I couldn't match her. I didn't want to, it was Mrs. Thatcher. It never have worked. I wanted love to come and knock our blocks off. But even Venus takes a car. Off. Your idea of foreplay was to take your socks off. It would never have worked. I wanted moonlight and roses and all that silly tosh. You wanted gerbils, a whippet, a wash. <laughs> I wanted love poems, but you couldn't write them. My earlobes nibbled, but you wouldn't bite them. <laughs> We're not compatible, let's not get blue, dear. At least we see each other's point of view, dear. I like big, hunky men, and so do you, dear. <laughs> So for balance, um, I wanted to do uh, one of Victoria's more poignant um, songs, which she wrote a lot of, um, and they're beautiful. And she would always finish the first half of the live show with uh, a sort of a sad song, because she worked on the understanding that after you'd had your withers run, you could always go for a chop house. Um, so this is a song um, that she wrote around about the time I was moving to London to sort of seek my fortune. Um, and it's become a bit of, a, of an anthem, really, over the years, and it's called Go With It. Three o'clock, and still awake, winding back, each dumb mistake, every slip replayed, the words not said, the moves not made. Comes gray, another wash, another day. 
have a drink Go with it Feel the slightest hint Go with it What is there to lose? Do you dare Dare to choose? I have wasted years Behaving In the way I thought Was proper And it's hard to do No one can Slightest breeze, then follow, follow all the way. Save yourself from just another day. line for line, the funniest thing, the funniest song, anyway, the funniest song she ever wrote. Um, and it comes with a disclaimer, this song. Is there anybody in the audience this evening called Pam? <laughs> Madam, <laughs> strap in, <laughs> this one's for you.
last year to beat the blues. I booked myself a cabin on a ten-day cruise. So much to do, so much to see, with a load of single women who look just like me. Then one night I played like that, with a bachelor called Billy in a golfing hat. We were so happy, hand in hand, listening to a lecture on the prostate gland. <laughs> I told him sex had been no go. He took it as a challenge and we went below. We can stand hugs without delay. He tried to take the rain and off. I said, no way. He said, I bet you ten whole pounds. I bet you have four while I'm around. He got stuck in. He really tried. But he only felt a tremor down my left hand side. Not me. That's my post. I prefer a bit of ironing and a round of toast. <laughs> Bill, a dear, now do get dressed. But he just fell over moaning as he clutched his chest. He went, ah! <laughs> but it was that kind of sound. <laughs> Bill was dead. He died for me. They took him on a stretcher as I drank my tea. <laughs> but as I poured another cup, I thought I'd never had that orgasm. I am ten quid on.